Hey guys, welcome back to Kids First. We're so excited that you've joined us here today. It won't be long. We're on like a countdown now, right? We are going to have services back here very soon. We can't wait to see your faces. We are super excited now. You know, we've been talking about how big God is, yes. and he's got a really big plan, and that's what we've been talking about these last few weeks. But today we're going to start a new uh, series of lessons we call Wonderfully Made. Wonderfully Made. Oh wonderfully my gosh. Made. Did that's you know that you were made wonderfully? Mm -hmm. God took his time with you. Is that That's what that means. God took his time with you when he made you. He made you incredible, amazing. And today we're going to focus on one story from the Bible. We find a man by the name of Joseph. Yeah. Yeah, he was very cool. He was wonderfully made. He had a purpose. God had a plan for his life. And so why don't you pay attention to this story and we'll get back to it in a minute. Stories of the Bible. Joseph in Egypt. This is Joseph. Hey! Who was the son of Israel and Rachel. He was his father's favorite, so his brothers hated him oh. and sold him into slavery. You see, Joseph was taken to Egypt, Ooh. and Potiphar, one of the Pharaoh's officials, bought him for his household. God was with Joseph, and he did well in Potiphar's house. Oh. Potiphar saw that God made everything Joseph did a success. Aha. So he put Joseph in charge of his whole house. Yeah. And God blessed Potiphar's house because of this. <laughs> Potiphar's wife saw how well Joseph was doing in the house, and she wanted to make him do bad things. Joseph ran away from her because he wanted nothing to do with someone who would try to make him do the wrong thing. This made Potiphar's wife angry, and she wanted to be rid of Joseph. Huh? So she lied and made Potiphar believe that Joseph had done the bad things that she wanted him to do. Huh. Potiphar burned with anger against Joseph ah. and sent him to prison. While Joseph was in prison, again, he did well and the warden soon made him responsible for all that was done there. God was with Joseph and gave him success in whatever he did. When two full years had passed, Pharaoh was having unsettling dreams. Pharaoh did not understand his dreams, so he sent for Joseph. Pharaoh asked Joseph to tell him the meaning of his dreams. With God's help, Joseph told Pharaoh that the dreams told of what could come in the future, and he explained all the dreams to the Pharaoh. Pharaoh believed that what Joseph was saying was true. He trusted Joseph as a wise man, and he put him in charge of the land of Egypt, of Pharaoh's palace, and of all his people. So with that, we see God has big plans. Now, Joseph, there was no way for him to know what God's plans were from the very beginning. I mean, he started off in his father. His father saw something special in him and gave him a coat of many colors. You know, his brothers didn't really like that very much, That's but true. God didn't change his mind. You know, God makes us all special, and we're all special for a reason. God has a purpose. And we saw in Joseph's lives that no matter what happened, God's purpose 
purpose never changed. God's plan for Joseph never changed. And that was to use him in a very, very mighty way, in a very big way, in a land where people didn't even really know about God. You know, we live in a world where a lot of people don't know about God. A lot of people don't know about his love. And God wants to use each of us in a unique and special way. He definitely does. So I see we have some, uh, some objects some items up here, Pastor Josh, and I think I know where you're going with some of it, so correct me if I'm wrong, but this, this is a pair of scissors, right? That's right. So we have a pair of scissors, we have a piece of paper and a pencil, and right. these three objects are incredibly different. They are. But they're, they were made for a purpose. That's right, and very that's what they have in purpose. common. They're all very different, but they all have one thing in common, and that is that they've been made for a reason, for a purpose. Yeah. Each of them uh, has a use. Yes. So I wouldn't try to use a pencil the way that we use a pair of scissors. And I can't use a pair of scissors to write with because that's just ridiculous. Right. They were made to cut things. And a pencil was made to right. write on things. And a piece of paper was made to write and cut, at, you know, both. You can do you both can, of those, they really. Can, it can be written on and it can be cut. That's right. So we have three very different things. So this pencil should not say to the scissors, I wish I was like you. Because this has a very special purpose, right? That's right. God made you with a very special purpose. Don't ever doubt your value or your worth because God made you just the way you are on purpose. That's right. You're very, very special to God. The way that you are, the color of your eyes, the color of your <laughs> hair, your height, the color of your skin, where you come from, all of those things God thought about. It's true. The God way thought you about. The way that you think is different from the way that somebody else thinks, and it's supposed to be that way. Allow God to use those gifts and talents for his purpose. Ask him what is his purpose for your life. He'll show it to you, I guarantee it. And we want to challenge with we want to challenge you with just that. We want you guys to pray today. And when you pray, ask God, God, show me. Show me how you your plan. What do you want to do with me? What am I supposed to do? Just like Joseph, God had a big plan and God has a big plan for you. I want to pray with you guys, but before we do that, I want to let you know we have a scripture verse. Oh yes. For these next few weeks. We do. It's Psalm 139 14 it says i praise you because i am fearfully and wonderfully made your works are wonderful and i know that full well god has big plans and he made you again the way you are for a reason i want to pray with you guys father god i thank you so much for our families and i thank you for each and every one of these kids that you fearfully and wonderfully made for a purpose god i pray that through your spirit lord you would begin to reveal that to each and every one of these kids to each and every one of those who are listening right now begin to reveal the uniqueness and just how special we are in your plan, Father God, and we just love you. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.